Safe Living Technologies is pleased to introduce the updated Safe and Sound Pro 2 RF meter. Built on the success and simplicity of the Safe and Sound Pro RF meter, the Safe and Sound Pro 2 is an easy to operate, wide range, far field broadband RF meter designed to measure radio frequency and microwave radiation from 400 MHz to 7200 MHz or 7.2 GHz. It also has a useful frequency range of 200 MHz to 8 GHz with reduced tolerance. This frequency range covers the radiation emitted by all cordless phones, cell phones, baby monitors, Bluetooth devices, upper and lower Wi-Fi bands, smart meters, cell phone towers, and more. The Safe and Sound Pro 2 can display all measurements in microwatts per square meter or peak and max readings in volts per meter. This meter represents the latest in RF detector technology and was extensively tested for accuracy across the specified frequency range at the NEMCO certified anechoic chamber in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Shown here is the tested and useful frequency response from 200 MHz to 8 GHz. For highest accuracy, we specify a measurement frequency range of 400 MHz to 7.2 GHz with a relative plus and minus 6 dB error. If you would like to use the Safe and Sound Pro 2 for long-term measurements, the unit will operate continuously when powered via the USB-C connector shown here. The startup display will then show USB instead of a battery condition percentage. The OLED display offers great contrast and readability in all lighting conditions and is unaffected by cold temperatures. Included in the box is the meter with two alkaline AA batteries installed, the operating manual, certificate of calibration, and a custom carrying case. To begin measuring, turn the unit on by pressing and holding the left side power button. The startup screen will show the self-calibration process and the current battery level in percent as shown. After this short display, you're ready to measure. Slowly scan an area for the highest reading. Be sure to move the meter in all directions while scanning and keep the meter at least 30 centimeters or one foot from your body. Shown here are the directions of best sensitivity. The pickup pattern can best be described as a figure eight. Note that the response time of the Safe and Sound Pro 2 is less than 5 microseconds. In other words, it is capable of measuring RF pulses that are less than 5 millionths of a second wide. In addition to the fast response and dynamic level indicator on the top of the display, the Safe and Sound Pro 2 also displays the following information updated up to 20 times per second as shown. The peak measurement is the instantaneous total power level of all sources in the full measurement band of 200 MHz to 8 GHz. The max is the highest peak reading since the meter power on or max reset button was pressed. The average measurement is a time average sum of all the sources in the measurement band of 200 MHz to 8 GHz. This value will often be much lower than the peak levels. This is due to the pulsed nature of most modern digital signal sources. The following graph of a typical Wi-Fi router beacon shows how the Safe and Sound Pro 2 calculates average values and why the results are lower than the peak values. The blue bars indicate transmitted data pulses. In this case, they are 10 milliseconds wide. Over a one second time period, there are 10 pulses at various peak levels that are tracked by the Safe and Sound Pro 2. The average is calculated by factoring in the percentage of transmit time and the signal level over a 1.25 second time window. Use only the peak and max values when considering the biological effects of microwave radiation. The average scale is provided as a reference to industry standards that consider only average power levels and their thermal or heating effects on tissue. The reality of modern high-speed digital services is that the peak power levels are much higher. The Safe and Sound Pro 2 RF meter features a unit's max reset button. Simply press this button momentarily to immediately reset the displayed maximum value 
Or, if you wish to measure the peak and max levels in volts per meter, the displayed units can be changed by simply pressing and holding the same unit's max reset button for a few seconds until the display units change. The Safe and Sound Pro 2 is extremely sensitive, measuring down well below 0.1 microwatts per square meter, which is the no concern area of the building biology guidelines for RF levels. As with all of our Safe and Sound devices, different levels of RF radiation are displayed by the LED indicators as shown here. They are chosen very carefully by Safe Living Technologies to reflect the latest building biology guidelines and safety recommendations for sleeping areas. Readings with a flashing green, less than one microwatt per square meter level are ideal, however very difficult to achieve in most urban areas. Readings with a solid green slight are safe in the 1 to 10 microwatts per square meter range and suitable for long-term exposure. For readings found in the yellow moderate range of 10 to 100 microwatts per square meter, try to reduce this level for long-term exposure. For readings found in the orange high range of 100 to 1000 microwatts per square meter, try to limit your time spent in these environments. For readings found in the red extreme range of 1,000 to 10,000 microwatts per square meter, try to limit your time spent in these environments as well. Readings with a slow flashing red range of 10,000 and 100,000 and a fast flashing greater than 100,000 microwatts per square meter should be considered too high. Avoid this exposure level whenever possible. If you wish to enable the speaker sound, simply press the left button to cycle through the sound levels of low, medium, high, and off. The meter's adjustable speaker volume and sound replicates the digital signal patterns and intensity of measured radio frequency emissions, which aids in source identification. Its audio output jack, shown here, allows the unit to be connected to a sound recorder or headphones if needed. Note that the internal speaker will be muted when the audio jack is in use. When the batteries of the Safe and Sound Pro 2 need replacing, the display will show low battery and all the LEDs will flash as shown. Once you have determined the highest peak reading, compare it to the latest building biology guidelines. Currently, SBM 2015 is the most recent building biology standard. A reasonable goal after mitigation would be to have levels reduced to the slight concern level in microwatts per square meter as shown. For more detailed information about the Safe and Sound Pro 2 and examples of common sound sources of microwave radiation, please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at safelivingtechnologies.com.